you know, it's certainly been a great year for comebacks with 55-year-old Bill Shoemaker and Nicholas and, and the Mets winning. Well, here's another big comeback story of 86. One of the most aptly named horses of all time took the standard red world by storm in 1985. Follow my star, burst onto the scene in early summer, and for the rest of the season, all her peers could do was follow the streaking star across the finish line, watch her on the far outside in the rich sweetheart pace. Losing only once in 14 tries, she impressed many horsemen as the finest freshman pacing filly ever to flash across the sky until a hoof problem, the day of the Breeders' Crown, started a long chain of minor problems. Well, there's no doubt in my mind, I think she's probably the greatest uh, standard bridge filly that's ever raced. And uh, we went through last year and had a lot of good luck. And right on the end, I, we had to scratch out of the Breeders' Crown, which was a, just a terrible disappointment. And we started off great this year, and then we had a problem with her foot, and we had a terrible setback for the rest of the season. And now she's back good again. We had a little problem at Lexington where she couldn't race, and it was a shame because I know that she had a chance to break all the world's records. It's been one heartbreaking setback after another, but a happy ending may be moments away. Shoney are winning a month ago. Notice the similarities from a year before. Same machine-like gait, same lethal stretch kick, same lack of urging by driver John Campbell. The queen is back, and the breeder's crown and redemption is at hand. I'm joined now by Lou Guy, the owner of Follow My Star, among so many other phenomenal standard breads. Mr. Guy, to Bruce Nichols implied that you really wanted to own Follow My Star. $650,000 worth, that's how much you wanted her. Why did you want her so much? Well, first, I think she was a bargain at that price. In my opinion, she's the greatest filly that ever lived. As a two-year-old, she was invincible, and I think that she'll prove it tonight, even though she was a little game, she was real game, she was hurting last week, and she's not a million percent, but she's a game toy. I think the best that ever lived. You've had so many good horses, and you've also employed so many phenomenal trainers to train your horses, yet when you purchased Bruce Nichols, you made what I felt was an exemplary decision. You left the filly in Bruce Nichols' care. How'd you decide to do that? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And there you have some great days for Mr. Guy, who has won Breeders' Crowns with Nihilator and Mac Lovell and Caressable. How badly do you want the Breeders' Crown tonight? I want to win every time I'm out there. I want this filly to win tonight. Best of luck to you and follow my star, Mr. Guy. Let's go back to Dave Johnson. Well, we'll have the uh, fillies in action after we take this brief timeout, so come on back. Okay. 